Well, guys, I've waited to make this video in the hope more information would be released on the Southport lies, but it seems that ain't happening. Likely because the public reaction has been disastrous for Starmer, Labour and, well, the media. I mean, shit, it got that bad. Good morning, Britain. Let Ed Balls defend his wife hiding shit from the public, despite it being a clear breach of Ofcom's impartiality rules. You know, the same ones GB News just got fined for. Are you disposal. saying that if you were the Prime Minister, you would... Contrary to police advice. Well, we don't know that, do we, Ed? No, we don't no. know what the advice is. No, but are you saying, no, if, well, you I'm judge, asking the uh, question, if you Ed. judge the public needed to know, you would tell the public things, even if the police and the Crown Prosecution Service said that yes. would risk well, contempt of court I, I, and a fair I'm trial. I'm asking the question, Ed. What did the Prime Minister know? And when? Well, how does he, and how why, did he say why, that? Why, how why, did he say that he choosing, why did he choose not to say it? There has been a loss of trust in the police and the criminal justice process. Okay. And I think that's wrong. The state shouldn't be lying to its own citizens. Of course We not. should be being clear but about what saying, has actually sorry, happened in Syria. Are you saying that the state has lied to its own citizens? Well, we don't know. Of course, ITB won't be fined for this, but I thought it should be called out anyway. Now, apart from that, yesterday the Times did admit that the Labour government, with the help of the Attorney General, hid the new charges released last week from the public for a couple of weeks to prevent any disorder that might arise. Obviously, because they're worried the public wouldn't like hearing they were lied to for months on end. But since we have such limited info on that, so can't get deep into it, we will instead roast the BBC. Because this gaggle of scumbags spent all day when the new charges were released running what looks like a PR campaign for the suspected Southport child killing scum. Bag. This, I'm guessing, is because they would be hard pressed to call him a quiet Welsh choir boy anymore given his latest charges. So instead, they decided the best way to soften public perception of a possible child killer was to label him as a teenager. ...with developments in Southport and the uh, attacks earlier this year. We are indeed, because uh, the teenager accused of murdering three girls. It's Wednesday the 30th of October morning. Our main story, a teenager who was accused of murdering three girls at a dance class in Southport. The teenager accused of murdering three young girls in Stockport will appear in court this morning. BB King, Elsie Dot Stankham and Alice Aguiar were just dancing, having fun in the school holidays when they were stabbed. A teenager, Axel Rudakabana, is accused of their murders. Let's have a look at what the papers are saying this morning. It's 25 past six. We begin with the Express, focusing on the news that more charges have been brought against the teenager accused of murdering three young girls in Southport in July. Because uh, the teenager accused of murdering three girls at a dance class in Southport. Oh, yes, the BBC couldn't tell us enough times that this suspected killer is a teenager, despite the fact he's 18 years old, so legally a man, and now charged with terror offences to go with it. Now, some of you might think this is not really a big deal, but it's literally a psychological tactic to soften public perception or downplay the fact three little girls lie dead. Take your choice which one you think it is. Much the same as calling him a Welsh choir boy at the time with childhood pictures released of him was, despite the fact he actually looks like some wild-haired cretin and not the innocent school kid they wanted people to see. This, I would say, is pretty low from the BBC, but then I remember it's the BBC. Being as low as a snake's belly should be their fucking motto. So, not only have the parasites that be lied about what they knew and didn't for weeks or months on end raise intentions, but they're still running damage control for a scumbag in what I can assume is for the sake of diversity. I'm surprised Naz Shah ain't been on TV, actually. Fuck pigs. pandemic